This short video will demonstrate how to properly prepare a bomb calorimeter for analysis. There are two main parts to a calorimeter, the bomb and the calorimeter itself. In preparing a sample for analysis via bomb calorimetry, a press is used to generate a solid pellet from a powder. Prepare the pellet press by placing the solid end of one cylinder face up in the bottom of the press. Then load approximately one gram of the sample into the press. With the solid face of the second cylinder facing the sample, depress the handle while applying pressure to the back of the press to avoid the press falling forward and ruining your sample and causing potential harm. A piece of iron wire of known mass is fused to the sample and the mass of the new aggregate is taken to obtain the mass of the sample by difference. The fused sample and wire are loaded into the calorimeter by threading the wires through the small holes on the lead inside the bomb. Once the sample is loaded into the bomb, the large stainless steel ring is fastened to the base until the ring is hand tight. Do not continue to try and turn the ring as it makes it difficult to open the bomb for further use. At this point, the bomb is ready to be pressurized. An oxygen manifold is attached to the appropriate tab on the bomb and filled to approximately 20 atmospheres with oxygen by slowly turning the front knob of the oxygen tank regulator. When the bomb is pressurized, turn off the flow of the oxygen, release the tab on the oxygen tank regulator, then remove the manifold from the bomb. After the bomb has been purged twice and pressurized with 25 atmospheres of oxygen, load the bomb into the calorimeter and add 2 liters of water from a volumetric flask. There should not be any bubbles that leak steadily from the calorimeter. If this is the case, you will need to consult your TA for further instructions. The electrode leads are attached to the bomb and the cap is placed on the calorimeter. The rubber belt is threaded on the stirring mechanism and the motor is turned on. At this point, the bomb calorimeter is fully prepared for analysis.